A Central Coast nursery grows rare award-winning orchids. Yeah. And That's right, Patty Piper shows us right now how we can successfully grow orchids at home. Hey, Patty. Hi, Sarah and Randall. Yes, you can successfully grow orchids at home. It is something that I have not yet been able to do, but hopefully the two experts that I'm with this morning from Chaotic Exotics will be able to give me some advice and also for our viewers. We're going to start out talking about orchid scents. There's just really so much to learn about orchids, which I've already been learning this morning with um, Jim. Katsubar and John Sikoski. Sikoski. Did I did I do good? Yeah. Sikoski. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they have been just a flood of information this morning. So we're going to talk about scents right now. And uh, we have a surprise for Sarah and Randall coming up in just a moment. But orchids use their scent for a reason. To attract pollinators. Orchids have evolved a very special mechanism so that their pollen is kept in little packets that is held tightly. But the disadvantage is that it ne now needs something physical to t carry it from one flower to the next. It's never air pollinated or wind pollinated. It's not something that just happens. So it needs help from an insect or I imagine from you two, right? You do some of we this use by hand. <laughs> it's a lot of work, right? Toothpicks are number two pencils. Okay. So the scent that these, I was smelling this earlier, and we really couldn't tell, um, they don't have a scent all the time. No, they, they turn their fragrances on and off depending on what they want to pollinate them. There, we have one over here that you can see that clump there. That has flowers that are only fragrant at night because they attract moths as their pollinators, and they give off a jasmine scent, but only after after dark. So they are scented when the moth is out doing its work. How, how are these pollinated? These are bee pollinated and so they're fragrant early in the day and then they actually shut their fragrances off later in the afternoon because there's other things that would come out that would be attracted to that and eat the flowers. So to protect themselves they shut it down when they don't need it. Right. Okay now so earlier this morning it was like 4 30 in the morning I was <laughs> smelling and um, I couldn't really tell, but are we kind of waking them up with the warmth, the lights? Right. They're just starting to give off their fragrance now because we fooled them into thinking it's daytime. Right. <laughs> we're, we're tricking them. <laughs> Something I have to do for myself every morning when that alarm goes off. That's right. They smell really, really sweet. Is this typical um, for what an orchid would smell like? No, they cover a whole range of scents. They go from very sweet and some go to very putrid because they're trying to attract like ants and t trying to attract other insects. Insects that, and flies that come okay. to that type of Yum. meat. So yes. Some <laughs> are like that, like okay. bulbophyllum, and then various orchids like this, the sherry baby and that are very sweet, and bees are attracted to them, and then some have lemon scents, some smell like coconut. Wow. Citrus, cilantro. Oh, citrus and cilantro. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I know that you, both of you, have been using the scientific name for a lot of these orchids. What's the common name for the ones that we're seeing right here that are very sweet? Well, this is Oncidium sherry baby. Sherry baby. Sherry baby, okay. after the song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and one thing I wanted to mention about orchid fragrances is a lot of people don't realize that orchids are fragrant. Basically, almost all of them are, but we don't have the receptors to smell them. They're doing it for insects. Okay. Benefit. They don't care about us. All right. For the most part. <laughs> However, with this one, I think they know that we're, our pol we're the pollinator because okay. they're chocolate scented. These are the, we are speaking of chocolate scented, Sarah and Randall, um, I believe you have a chocolate scented orchid there that's been delivered from Chaotic Exotics. And uh, we're interested to see if you can smell, if it's woke up yet this morning, if you're able to smell that. Yes, as a mm -hmm. matter of fact. We have it right here. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it really uh, smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and you know, I have some orchids at home. I have no idea what kind they are. And uh, I think it's just really we ignore them and it, they yes. Are, they're just I have to really doing well. Yes, I have to tell you the same thing. I got my brother gave me an orchid as a gift. Lasted for months. I never touched it. And then one day I looked at it just died. withered and died. Uh, so <laughs> I'm, uh, gonna, I'm very well, curious to see what what I need to do in the future to keep that from happening. <laughs> Sarah and Randall, I have some expert advice because I have, have done the very same thing. That's coming up in the next half hour. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Yes. Well,